far as my eyes can see There ain't a future for you and me It feels like I'm in a dream I'm feeling so good, so good With you right here Looking at the ocean I see the sparkles reflect on your skin Reminds me of moonlight I'm feeling so Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys my go-to sweat proof glam makeup. <laughs> that was such a long title. But anyways, I have this makeup tutorial for you guys that I've been so obsessed with. I literally wear it almost every single day. The only thing I do switch up a little bit is the lid color and the lip colors. I just overall love this makeup look for the summertime because of course it's sweat proof I've been trying out different products I've been to areas where it's very hot and humid and it's disgusting and you just feel like you just want to take off your makeup but literally this makeup hasn't made me feel this way so everything that I'm showing you guys right now is what you need for your sweat proof makeup but it's very glamorous it's very it's a lot of makeup of course but you could definitely tone it down to something more daytime appropriate but like i said this is my go-to glam look and i've wanted to do this video because on instagram every time i post a picture with this type of makeup lots of you ask for a tutorial so i thought i should show you guys my routine of my go-to glam look and i love it i don't think i'm gonna switch it i think i'm even gonna wear this makeup for beauty con because i love it so much um but yeah so hopefully uh, hold on hold on uh, hopefully you guys like it and if you guys want to know how to recreate this makeup look then just keep on watching all right let's get started with this makeup look i'm excited for it because literally it's been my favorite um but first i'm gonna start out by priming my face i just feel like i need to prime it already i don't know why but i'm gonna start out with the benefit professional i love this because it really um blurs out your pores but on top of that it really does help me with my skin that i'm oily in the t-zone to control the oil and on top of that uh, once you apply your foundation or the foundation that i'm gonna apply it just makes your face look super, super flawless. So I really, really love it. And I highly recommend you guys try this out. I know some people, it might not work as far as to control your oiliness. But trust me, it is going to make your face look super, super flawless. So I'm going to be applying this with just my fingers. Then for the eyes, this is the primer I've been using. And oh my god, it is so amazing when you want your makeup to actually last all day and to actually be on um, but it's the Too Faced shadow insurance it's the 24 shadow insurance it's an anti-crease eyeshadow primer and let me tell you that this primer is also waterproof so not only is it going to prevent your um, eyeshadow from creasing but it's also going to make it last all day without moving or you know just yeah you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm going to be applying this as well with my finger just kind of like use this finger my ring finger just to apply it all over my entire lid now for the eyeshadows i've actually been going back and forth between two palettes and they're both from the same brand and then that is violet voss this is the holy girl palette i after so many restocks i finally was able to get my hands on this finally bought it and i'm so obsessed with it but i also have the laura lee palette and that one is amazing as well the quality in the eyeshadows of these two palettes is amazing i love la la love the foiled eyeshadows like they're so so beautiful once they're on but i am going to be using this one because this is actually the one that i keep reaching out to more and actually traveling with me but first i'm going to take this one that's called thanks a latte and apply this all over my entire lid to act out as a base and then after that we're going to move on to our transition color and the brush I'm going to be using to apply that eyeshadow is the E55 by Sigma. Now that we have that base down, now I'm going to take my transition color, which is this one called Bestie. It's a beautiful, like, neutral brown. It's not warm or too cool tone. It's just, like, right in between, which is perfect, so I feel like everyone can use this shade. But this is the one I'm going to be using to apply on my crease, and I'm going to be using this Sigma brush, the E40, one of my absolute favorite number ones from them. So I'm going to be using this to apply that. Then for the exciting part, and it's my favorite one, but it is applying my lid color. So instead of going and making the crease a little bit more intense, I'm going to wait and first apply my lid color. And honestly, for the lid color, I keep switching it up. It's the same concept and everything, but you could definitely play up with the lid color. You could use any color that you like. 
but the one that I always always have been using and every time I use it on Instagram everyone goes crazy and is asking for a tutorial but it's this one called Cool Beans it is so beautiful I know everyone in this palette is obsessed with this one but I don't know why I love this one it's like the perfect color for an everyday thing so I'm gonna be taking this and the best way to apply these eyeshadows because I have found that if you just use an E55 brush and you try to apply it, it's not going to apply as good. You could use your finger. You could definitely use your finger. But I don't like always to get messy. So instead, what I recommend is using a flat shader brush. And this one is from Sigma. This one is the E60. You can use this one or the E70, which is the concealer brush. You could get more precise with this one. This one's just big and you could just lay it flat on your lid. And it's going to give you that um, appearance as if you applied it with your finger. So that is the best way to apply these eyeshadows because... I know they are a little bit tricky just to apply with just any other brush so that is the best way to apply these type of eyeshadows also the other great thing about these eyeshadows is if you wet them they look even more intense so that is a great thing but I'm not gonna wet mine because I don't want it to be too much if you know what I mean it's just perfect the way it is honestly and then after that what I like to do is actually go in there with my gel liner which this one of course you guys already know it's the one from Sigma it's the wicked gel liner this is hands down the best eyeliner out there I just love it so much because one it is definitely sweat proof because it doesn't smudge it doesn't melt off or anything like that I mean it just like actually stays put where you where you apply it and then on top of that it's super black and if you add the NYC on top super super black so I'm gonna actually do my wing liner and you guys know that I have a full tutorial using um, these products and doing my wing liner and the brush I'm using is the EO6 the wing liner it is so tiny but it makes it so easy to apply your eyeliner hands down the best eyeliner brush as well um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do my wing liner real quick but if you guys want an in-depth tutorial of how to do it I'm gonna have that link down below so now that we have our eyeliner on now we're gonna go back again to the eyeshadows and this is what I've actually been doing so I would like to mix these two shades together which is teddy bear and brownie points the names are so cute I swear um, but I'm gonna take my morphe e36 brush which is like it looks like this it looks literally like an e30 but anyways I'm gonna be using these and I'm gonna mix these two and what I'm gonna actually do is kind of start where my crease starts to open up and sort of create this little half cut crease and then after that, I'm gonna start blending it out but if you don't have a crease that's okay you could create one that's the cool thing about makeup that you can actually create a crease right on top of it I actually go a little bit just on top of my own crease because not both of these are not the same thing so I kind of try to play around with it trying to make it even um, but like I said if you don't have a crease that's okay you could actually create one just go on top of wherever you want it to be folding as an illusion like that um, so yeah that's what I'm actually gonna do you can actually do this step before you do your wing liner but for some reason it's easier for me to do it like this now because I could actually see where I want it placed and it just makes everything so much easier for me so just like that. you can just do this before or after however you want so then taking my E25 to blend it out I'm only gonna be taking brownie points and then blending this on my crease Then after that, I'm going to take my mascara and I'm going to be using this one from L'Oreal. It's the Butterfly Sculpt Mascara. And just coat my lashes to prepare them for the falsies. Now, for my lashes, I am going to be using this ones from Nubun Sun. These are the Style Bella. They are so gorgeous. But I also have these from the same brand. And these are Dragon Lee. Holy moly, these are super, super long and dramatic and so beautiful. But for today, I'm going to be using Bella because usually every time I wear these, you guys seem to like them a lot on Instagram. So I'm going to be taking these. These are as well very dramatic. They do feel heavy um, throughout the day. But I mean, you could use some very natural lashes if you want for an everyday thing. But like I said, this is a very glam look. So it requires beautiful lashes. And for my foundation, the one that I've been using and been obsessed with and I highly, highly recommend to you guys for the summer is this one from NARS. This one is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I know it's a love and hate foundation because of the fact that of how it applies, um, the color, whatever. But honestly, for me, the best way to apply this foundation without having it look you know nasty or crusty or whatever is with a beauty blender with the beauty blender is the best way to apply this foundation i have tried it with the with an actual brush 
and no it's a disaster so I do not recommend it to you guys that you guys use a brush instead use a beauty blender um so that's how I'm going to apply it since I already primed my face. I'm just going to go over it. And what I like to do is take it in the back of my hand, pump at least like three pumps. And literally, it, is, it feels like you don't even have anything on your face. It's so light. It is perfect. Throughout the day, you will notice that it gets even better on your skin. It's just going to look super, super flawless. And on top of that, like I said, it's sweat proof. I have tried using this foundation um, in really hot, humid areas. I was in Nevada, in Reno, and it was really hot there, so humid. And I was wearing this foundation, not a single drop of this foundation was like melting off my face or anything like that it actually stayed on so for that i highly recommend it to you guys all right so that is that and honestly like i said i swear to you it does not feel like you have anything on your face it is very very light and i just love that it sort of does have that luminous finish but not really i don't know if you know why they named it luminous when i don't even see it see my face luminous like that but anyways now i'm gonna move on to my concealer and for my concealer you guys already know that this is my number one favorite at the moment and it has been like for the like past few months but this is the urban decay naked skin concealer um this one is in the shade in the shade light neutral so i was using medium light neutral but i went to light neutral just to sort of kind of balance it out if you know what i mean um so i'm actually going to use this to conceal and highlight my under eye all right and then right before i'm going to set it i'm actually going to take my highlighter i already showed this in one of my previous tutorials but i'm going to take my anastasia so hollywood illuminator this is my absolute number one highlighter and i'm going to be applying it where i normally will highlight and this is just going to really make our you know highlight stand out and look so much better because it's gonna look like you're actually going from within instead of just you know applying highlighter on top and that's it so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> and actually like i said had have learned this uh new technique from my friend jenny she's the one that um taught me this and i was like oh my god ever since it's it's been amazing <laughs> And the way I'm going to apply this is just kind of like tapping it. You're, you're not really supposed to swipe because right now you have cream products and anything that you're going to apply on top is going to like really grab onto it and it's going to make your pores stand out. So you have to be careful with that. You do. <laughs> so you just want to kind of like lightly tap it and then that's it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set our whole face and I'm going to be using my Clinique face powder. This one is in the color Transparency Neutral. It's honestly my favorite one. Um, I've tried even the Laura Mercier. Yeah, you guys know that I was so obsessed with that one. But the fact that this one makes your foundation last all day as well, it really does help. I've used other foundations and this powder will just make it last. Um, but the other thing that I love about it is that it does keep my face matte. The translucent powder from Laura Mercier um, yes, it does keep me matte, but not for too long. It's only for a couple of hours, but this one, I swear, it makes it last all day matte. So that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, that's why I've always been obsessed with it. And I actually like to take a little extra um, at the beginning just so I could leave it on my under eye and then set the rest of my face and then again go back into my eye and then remove the excess powder from my under eye. Now that I set my face, I'm going to go back to the eyes. And I'm going to take this one that's called Crystal. And this is going to be my brow bone highlight and as well my inner corn. Um, in, did I say unicorn? <laughs> um, inner corner highlight. So this is what I'm going to be using. And I'm actually going to be applying it with the Sigma E21, which is the smudge brush. Then for my lower lash line, again, the same thing as in our crease. I'm going to take brownie points and teddy bear and mix those two shades together and apply this on my lower lash line. So then after that, I'm going to take this eyeliner from NARS. This is in the color Rue Bonaparte. It is a beautiful eyeliner. It's just like a very neutral, like almost skin color uh, eyeliner and it's really really pretty it's not shimmer or anything it's super matte so that's a great thing but I'm gonna be applying this on my waterline and then after that, I'm gonna finish off the eyes with a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes For my brows, the best thing I could recommend to you for a sweat-proof brow product is the Anastasia Dip Brow. This will literally stay on your brows the whole entire day. It is, even though it says it's waterproof, 
mm -mm. I don't think it's waterproof because I have gotten in the water with this and it kind of fades and it's not supposed to if it's waterproof, you know? But I'm gonna go ahead and use this because it actually does stay on all day even if I have sweated and gone dancing or something, it's always been put. So that's why I recommend it for a sweatproof makeup, not waterproof. So this is a good one. And I'm using the shade Dark Brown. So now moving back to the face, now I'm gonna bronze it up with this bronzer by MAC. This one is in the color Dark Golden. It is an obsession of mine right now and I'm going to be applying it with this Morphe M530 brush. It's seriously like the perfect brush to bronze up your face. So this is what I'm going to be using. And to contour, I actually like contouring after I bronze up. I am going to now take the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And I'm going to be taking it with this brush from Morphe, the E49. It's kind of flat, as you guys can see. It's really pointy. And I just feel like it applies the color perfectly where you want it. So that's why I love this brush so much. For my blush, this is the one I'm going to be using, the one from Tarte. Any Tarte blush will do because they last 12 hours on your face. And like I said, any color will do. Every single color that they have is so pretty. But this one is in the color Charisma. And it's so pretty because it has a little bit of shimmer in there. So I'm just going to lightly apply this on top of my bronzer. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe E58 brush. And then to highlight again, I'm going to be using again my So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just recently, I started um, using the Smashbox liquid lipsticks. Now, these only last eight hours, but let's be honest, any other liquid lipstick, you will have to reapply if you're gonna eat or something. I usually always have to reapply my liquid lipstick throughout the day, so that, I can't really say that I have found a liquid lipstick that you do not reapply. Um, yeah, I really haven't. And any other liquid lipstick, I always have to reapply it, so. Even then, these feel amazing on the lips. They don't even dry out your lips at all. So that's why I love it so much. And this is my favorite color so far. It's called In Demand. It's like a really nude color, but it's so pretty. I feel like it does go with a lot of skin colors. Um, but yeah, this is the one I'm going to be using. The very last thing that I'm going to do is add a setting spray. Now, not just any setting spray. This is the Makeup Fixer from Ofra. Now, Ofra is based in Miami. And in Miami, it is very hot and humid. So they created something that will make your makeup last throughout the whole day. So this is a light mist. It says it holds blush, eyeshadows, and foundations and concealers. And it just basically says to apply it directly to your face and then you're done. But I have used already this setting spray so many times and it literally does the job. It doesn't matter what foundation you're wearing, what eyeshadows you're wearing, anything like that. It'll make your makeup last much longer than what it actually does on its own. So that is why I recommend this makeup setting spray. I do have a coupon code with Ofra and no, it's not for just commission or anything. It legit works, okay? So I swear by this some of you have already bought it and say it works amazing on you as well so it just makes me happy to hear that as well but it seriously is the best thing ever so i definitely recommend this baby a lot to you guys for the summertime so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this a little bit on my face and then we're done all right you guys well this is the final result i hope that you guys like it and if you try it out don't forget to send me your pictures also let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see a waterproof makeup tutorial i would love to do that for you guys because i have been testing out products but yeah so with that one list thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye Mwah.